What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 27 and today's topic will be uh, again um, 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 I believe we have already started the table part for report labs in the first tutorial we have we have we have done with some sort of introduction with table and in this topic uh, we'll be going to talk about how we can uh, in, in insert image or paragraph for your table data so in the last episode what we did we just created uh, we just we just created one simple table with some sort of numeric value and after that we we have seen how to create grid and boxes how to use different background and color and all but in this topic we'll see apart from any string value or any numeric value how to insert let's say image and uh, any paragraph sort of text okay so how to create table with image as data so this is the first topic for today's tutorial so let me just open the clips and write down the code so it will be like from from report lab dot latipus import paragraph then simple doc template table table style and image okay next from report lab dot leave import colors next thing from report lab dot leap dot styles import get sample style sheet so we have imported all the necessary libraries now we'll create the document object so simple doc template we'll write one name so this is tutorial 27 so let me just give it as tutor tutorial 27 dot pdf then we'll create one flow object so definitely it will be blank okay then styles equals to get sample style sheet okay so now we'll define our table structure first okay so for that uh, what i'll do I'll just create one image object so i data or yes i data i am data equals to this image class we'll use that to import our image and we have already one file over here let's say logo.jpg so logo.jpg okay and let's 50 into 50 which means uh, width and height okay so now we'll define the table so t is going to be table and we'll use kind of let's say i am underscore data okay this and for i in range 1 1 to 6 is fine or 1 to 7 is fine anything then probably we can use another image there is another image is there okay So okay and now we will use some numeric value so let's say uh, x in x for x in range 1 to 7 okay so 
it's done so now we'll create some sort of table style so t underscore style and for that we'll use this table style class so table style okay so this is going to be like this within this and it will have multiple like this okay okay so first thing we're going to put some sort of like let's say box and this is going to this is going to start with zero zero and with minus one minus one minus one minus minus one and we'll use let's say two and color should be colors colors dot red okay then you can use some sort of grid as well so grid okay this is fine probably you can make it blue or like this and the background let's say background let's say mm, let's say yolo okay so now t dot set style and we'll put this thing okay and now we'll append this thing now so flow object dot append and there we'll put this table object and after that we'll just create our document so pdf build is going to be flow object so that's it mm, i think did i any mistake here or like table style so this is going to be in caps okay done so let's run this thing for x x like this okay i just actually forgot to give comma so that's why the error so now it's done so let me just refresh this thing okay see it looks nice it came so what i'll do i'll just change this thing now I am data so probably what I'll do I will change this thing I am data 1 I am data 2 1 is 1 1 is 2 and here probably I can use this ronnie.jpg let's see how it looks definitely it will come so it is completed so this is my photo this is our channel logo and this thing so this this looks okay and whatever we are trying to achieve we did actually and we already got the result so our first tutorial completed or the first part completed so let's let me just take a copy paste of this thing okay so and I will change the size a bit 14 yes it looks nice okay so next tutorial is how to create table with paragraph text as data so what we'll do um, paragraph text now it is looking for the paragraph text okay so what is going to happen so probably um, uh, we can just uh, ignore this thing okay we are going to define the new data so this Or, or 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 I can do something um, 
for paragraph data what you uh, what we have to do uh, we have to write some sort of paragraph text over here okay so for that uh, let's say p underscore uh, text or text normal text is going to be like this or like this this is this is para graph we are a ph graph text this and what i'll do i'll just give it a font and size so font name definitely italic of course this is my favorite font <laughs> italic and sorry it will be times italic okay and let's say color red size equals to 15 or let's say 12 and slash font that's it so this is how it is so the next thing going to be p underscore text and now we'll use paragraph class now we'll use p underscore text and the style object or style argument will be style equals to st styles and it will be normal actually so normal okay so now uh, i'll put it here actually okay so uh, this is again p underscore text for i in range 1 to 7 that's it okay So this is going to be text actually. So this is text. Okay. So I believe we have done everything correctly. Let's run this thing. Run. It is actually executed. So let's open this file again. See, this is paragraph text. This is paragraph text. This is paragraph text. So this is also done. So let me just copy paste this thing. Okay. Okay, cool. So I don't need any color, and probably I don't need anything like this as well. 14, then that's it. Done. So, next thing how to create table with image and paragraph text as they are together. So, actually, we did that part here again. So, there is image part, and there is paragraph part. So, everything is done and completed. So, I don't think so. We need anything else. So, rather. Uh, what I'll do, I'll just uh, take a copy paste of this thing and put it over here. So it doesn't make any sense to repeat this thing because you already completed the tutorial. Okay, so that's done so i hope you guys enjoyed the series so i mean this series and definitely you guys are getting some sort of idea about how to create table so i think we uh, we have done two parts in the last part we have seen how to uh, create table and what are the different aspects of table using different arguments like grid box lines color font size etc etc and in this part we have seen not only string data or not only normal numeric data we can easily import or insert any image or any paragraph text or from any other flowable so that is the main essence of this tutorial hope you guys understood so now i'll highly recommend you guys to do some sort of practice uh, try to think about your old reports like if you have some pdf try to find any reports or just go through google and search table inside pdf sample you will get some sort of pdf and try to try to design the same thing using this table if 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 you're getting any error while doing those exercise 
just let me know i'll try to do it and if someone is having any sort of like exercise or idea to create some sort of use case just to let me know but i am having one use case which actually i'm planning to uh, uh, use for our next tutorial that is we'll be having one csv file and try to uh, replicate the csv file in the form of pdf table and for that i'll be using a normal python csp uh, 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 csp package and using this report lab thing so the objective of that tutorial will be there will be one csp file and from the csp file we need to uh, like import the same data in the form of pdf table so that is one use case but again if you are having some sort of better use case better examples just let me know send me email i'll try to incorporate that in the tutorial so that's it guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe our channel if someone is watching this tutorial for the first time please visit other tutorial as well or try to visit the tutorial from the beginning and for the udemy students thank you very much once again and please stay tuned with me if you're having any doubt or problem you can write me immediately i will get back to you so that's it guys hope to see in the next video very soon till then take care goodbye and have a nice day Let's <laughs> go.